Hey guys, I have a neat little mod to show you. Uh, I shouldn't say little. It has a bunch of, of added pieces to decorate your home. Like we've seen building pieces and building pieces and building pieces and it's fantastic because we need them and more and more and more and more. But it is a breath of fresh air to actually get some interior decorating going on. So, this mod just came out today, and it is called Clutter, and it is found at the Thunder Store. Link will be in the description. But let me give you a walkthrough of this mod. So, when you first download it, it's going to add one piece and you have to come over here to your crafting station to your workbench and it's going to be right here and it's called the clutter bucket and it only takes two pieces of wood to make all right so then once you do that it's up here in your menu see the bucket on number six clutter bucket so you're going to go over and you're going to equip it just like you would your hammer then when you do that it opens up a whole new menu all right so you're going to get an owl sculpture a pelican sculpture a deer sculpture now some of these really aren't sculptures they're knickknacks um, and I'll show you what I mean. Some of them are sculptures like you put out in your yard. The other ones are knickknacks you're going to put on a shelf. And then in crafting, you get a bowl, a plate, two different size mugs, two different size, uh, a pot and a pan, a, a wooden spoon, a mortar, a crush mixer, you know, rolling pin, a fondue pot, in a picnic basket and then in building you're going to get a regular kind of basket a small bucket a larger bucket and by larger i mean big it's like mama bucket and then you have like little pails a uh, candle in a bottle a candle lantern you get a couple candles here um a candle then you get a uh, candle and a snake holder, an unlit candle, a lit candle, a diary, a diary page, then there's like three, book pa uh, three books, a quill and ink pen, and then a quill and parchment, a scroll, another scroll, and another scroll, uh, another scroll, another scroll. Now, I didn't use all these. Um painting a painting a painting a painting I did use all those the tablecloths which we've needed soap dead body bones pile of bones a gravestone wine bottle a straw bundle a comb a pipe and a skull and then in furniture we have two stands horizontal and vertical horizontal and vertical spears, a chair, a stool, a huge swing, um, a round table, a round table with a tablecloth, which I'm going to show you both of those because I use both of those too, um, a fancy wooden chest, a stone chest, a shelf, it's like a, book, a bookshelf, an empty one, then there's one that has books on it. Then there's a weapon rack that's empty, which I didn't use, but a weapon rack that's full, I did. Then you have two altars, one with a candle, one without, an empty and a full bathtub, a wine rack, a cuckoo clock, and then a birdhouse. All right? So let me walk you around my property, and I'll show you. So up here is the cuckoo clock with the deer's head all right and then this is the bookshelf now 
these two stacked books and these two stacked books I added because you can actually take a book, set it down, and if you use precise rotation mod, you can actually rotate the books around the way you want them and add books. And that's what I did. The ones that come with it are the ones on the bottom shelf and this book here and that book. And then I added th this stack, this stack, and this one on the end over there. But you can turn them any way you want if you use precise rotation mod. So that's really cool that the two mods work together. Then there's this chair. And then this is the table. It's a little bitty, see underneath there? It's a little bitty cute table with a tablecloth. And I put the pipe on it, like the smoker's pipe, the quillin pen, and the uh, letter, and the candle. And then I can just like come over to the chair and boop, sit down like I'm writing a note. Super cool. Super, super cool. And then up here on the wall, up there. I put three paintings and then over here on top see the white horse above the linen on that shelf I put the little horse it says statue on the thing and a moose um, it says on the thing that they are statues and by statues you would think you know like yard ornaments but they're not they're um, little trinkets right up there and then above my door is a painting and then there's a painting on either side of my candles We go into the kitchen. Well, here's the weapon rack. That comes with it. It's really pretty. All right, so then we come into the kitchen. This is where the magic is here. So I put three wine racks on that top shelf in the left-hand corner. And then up here are plates now I tested this you can set down a plate you can put a bowl on top of it and then you can put a spoon inside the bowl so they're stackable however you can't stack plates on plates or bowls on bowls and then these are the mugs there's small ones and then a bigger one they kind of look the same size, but when you're back from them, you can definitely tell the size difference. So it brings those items there. Super cool. And then when you come around here, this is the one basket. And then I used precise rotation and threw in some bottles of wine. Kind of like, you know, how everybody has bucket bucket of beer night. This is bucket of whiskey or bucket of wine. And then there's a little candle on the table. If you look real close, you can see the the uh, flame actually flickering. Let me try to move around to this side. There you go. You can see the flame flickering on it. That's really cool. And then this is the little table without the tablecloth and the, the three stools that I put around it. And here's the picnic basket. And I put a bottle of wine with the picnic basket. It's funny, I don't even drink, but there's a lot of wine going on here. And then a fondue pot. And I put a couple wooden spoons down there. And by the pie, I put the rolling pin. And then down here, we have the pots and pans going on. So 
So there's two with handles that are the the pans, like a frying pan, and then the two Dutch ovens that are like pots with lids. So that's really cool. Super excited about this. We needed like decoration stuff. And then up here at the stone cutter is where I put those stone mashers, you know, where you do stuff, mortar and stuff. <laughs> I always thought you smashed herbs in them or something. And then let's see. All right, so that's that. And then upstairs. take a look here <coughs> excuse me I put a rug down with a little table and a bar of soap and a comb and a bathtub and you can actually get in and sit down in the bathtub so get your guy down to the skivvies you can take yourself a bath then here's the book shelf with the other Remember I was telling you that the little statues, I call them knickknacks. But that's what I put these on. And then here's the fancy chest and one of the other candles. And it flickers too. And then I threw a couple books on the end of this nightstand. And I turned them. And... Over here, I put the diary, and you can actually write in it, so that's pretty cool. I put that on my other nightstand. And then we go down, 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 down. Um, I think that's it in here. Yeah. And then we go out, and I put the little corgi statue. That, to me, is a statue, because it's a bigger, full size. But I put him here so that when I'm sitting in my chair, kind of looks like I'm petting him. <laughs> Can't put him any closer, though, because uh, you start shaking real bad. And then up here, where my little pagoda is I put the swings and like everything's usable it's really cool it's a shame we can't like like rock them back and forth somehow <laughs> be pretty neat um, so there's that and then down here I put the bunnies in the garden. They're full size too, so there's the bunnies. And I put little birdhouse there and there on both sides. And then up in the tree, I have to remember which tree I did this in. There's the owl. Way up in the tree. Uh, let me see. I'm jumping right there. On that branch. Is the owl. Where it says beach. Where it keeps saying beach. Right there. Is the owl. And then I put a birdhouse up there. In that tree. Right in the nook. Right there and I put another birdhouse um, right down here in this tree no I can't remember which tree anyways I put another one there's two of them and then down here I made a cemetery and you can like interact with the, the gravestones 
and then I put like the altar well I used the stone um, chest as like a base and then I put the altar that's that black thing with the candle and scrolls so that's like their eulogy like whenever they die you can read their eulogy so I did that and then let's see what else um, down here I put the buckets mama bucket and baby bucket out on the dock I thought that was pretty nifty and what else let me look at the list I didn't use those I got the chair, the stools, that, that, that that, the wine rack, the tub those showed you that showed you that, okay showed you the bucket showed you the basket oh, I wanted to put this outside these are the candle and the bottles wanted to set one there that's really cool looking and I want to set one over here there you go so it's a candle in the bottle I have a world series coming so and then let's see what do we do the diary we've got books I didn't use the scrolls these books we did the scrolls um oh the comb was upstairs yeah i did use that oh i want to put this too i'm waiting for that world save to get over the straw bundles i did want to put those in here where's that right here i want to see if it'll let me no it won't will it Nope. Darn, I was hoping to. Alright, well then what I'll do is put this basket. Oh, that's a little basket. Okay. Hold up. Let me put this big bucket here. And then go down to the straw. Put some straw in the bucket. Alright, so that's some straw. And then all oh, the tablecloth. So I used the tablecloth in the kitchen. Right there. I put a lox tablecloth down. And let's see. Or soap was upstairs, comb was upstairs, dead bodies, bones. Okay, the, the dead bodies. Alright, we'll do those. Because I did everything else that's here. We did everything that's on the furniture. Everything in there. And everything in there. Alright, so that's what's left is the dead bodies. Dun dun dun. Alright, so. Let's go see the dead body. Sounds like that movie Stand By Me. Want to go see a dead body? Alright. One dead body is washed up on the beach down here. I think. Come on, dude. Out of my way. Uh, I think I put him right over here. I think. No? Um, 
There he is. Have that one there. And then this is a ways away. Because I wanted to do a shipwreck. And so, um, because she's got like a pile of bodies and I was like, that looks like a serial killer. I mean, it's like a big pile of bones. We're almost there, guys. I'll fly back to make it quicker. It's right up here. I think it's just not this bend, but the next one, I think. Let me see. Yeah, right down here. See the bodies? Oh, did it broke my boat. Did it hit the boat? Oh, man, it kept sucking my boats out. I kept see I cheated. I did this, and then me and my mouse. Why is it not spawning yet? There it is. Well, let me despawn how many objects did it spawn. Because I wasn't trying to spawn a whole bunch. I just want to spawn one. There. So that's what I did. Was I spawned in a boat. Using easy spawner. And had what looked like a shipwreck with bodies because the water was just crashing. I mean, it was crashing so hard it was rolling up over here and rolling up over there. And it kept pulling my ships back in. So, there you go. Oh, and the, the pile of bodies that I was telling you about? Did it wash those away too? Seriously? It just, I just broke that damn boat. <laughs> Alright, so... Pile of bodies. Not kidding, guys. Like it's a pile of bodies. See them underneath me in the red? So I had them like right there in the water. There. That's better. Whoop. Try this damn ship one more time. <laughs> there. I don't care that it's up high like that because the water gets so high right there that it's just going to suck it back in and bust it all up. But there, that way it, it looks like a ship wreckage with a bunch of bodies in the water. So that's what I did with the bones. And, um,. We'll just fly back home real quick. But yeah, guys, you gotta check this mod out. It's it's really cool. She did a fantastic job on it. And I think I'm home. Yeah, I think this is home. There's so many villages in, in this. In this one. Yeah, this is home. Alright, so let's come down easy. So that's everything that's in the mod, guys. It's fantastic. We can decorate our houses. I'm going to do way much more than just this little bit. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the mod. 
and have you guys get it in your hands and play with it because um, a lot of the parts are interactive. They, they interact with each other. Um, like you can stack the plates and stuff and put the bowls and spoons together and um, you can put stuff in the little baskets and in the buckets. Really, really neat. You can use the tub. Really cool. There, geez, oh man, I was like, when's it going to load? <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to hop off because my, my game's really glitching out. But I wanted to share this stuff with you guys. Really, really neat stuff. Really neat stuff. And uh, I'm excited because I have so much more I want to do. I want to get a book, uh, the, one of the empty bookcases like she has. Um, there's an empty bookcase which I didn't use because I just wanted to, to get this out and show it to you. But I think what I'm going to do is put a bookcase here. Uh, where's it at? Put a, put the empty bookcase. Whoop. Huh, I have on the wrong one. There we go. I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to set it up. Now set it up. <laughs> there you go. Turn around. There we go. I want to do a bookcase somewhere in my kitchen. I might. I don't have much room left in here. Maybe right here. Maybe I could do it like right, right here. Let's see how that's going to look. Yeah, that'll be all right. And see if I can't. See, like if you take a plate, oh, my game is so glitchy. I'm sorry, guys. And see if I take a plate and stack it down. Like that. Then I can take a bowl. And stack a bowl right on top of it. But if I go to put another bowl on top, it won't let me. Or maybe it will. It wouldn't earlier. <gasps> I can. Oh, shut up. Maybe it was two plates I was trying to stack. Oh, because it sure will let me stack bowls. Look at that. That is... Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm more excited now than I was earlier. Alright, so let's see. Now if I go do another plate, though. Oh, see, now it's let me. It wouldn't let me earlier. You kind of have to offset the plates. You can't do them, like, right on top of each other. How cool is that, guys? So you can do pots and, I mean, uh, plates and bowls and stack them to your little heart's content. That is so super cool. You just kind of have to offset them a little bit, that's all. And then there's itty-bitty tiny silverware or spoons let's see how neat is this guys I wish we had a fork Fork and a knife. I mean, come on, AJ, be happy with what we have. Jeez, oh man. <laughs> like that? Check that out. 
then you could do um maybe get up here There, there's your dishes. That's so freaking awesome. And if you wanted to, you could even... I cook... Oh, come on. You get the... Come on. It's not the mod, it's the user. There. You could throw a, a wine rack on the bottom of it. And there, there's your plates and stuff. That's freaking cool. But yeah, guys, check the mod out. It, it's it's so amazing. The, the woman who made it, she is fantastic. And uh, just brilliant with the ideas to um, bring more pieces to the game. But also pieces to help decorate the game because the Lord knows we've needed it. I can even throw a where's the knickknacks at? Knickknacks. Let's see. Oh, throw another knickknack up there. And then we have knickknacks on the shelf here too. But there you go, guys. It's fantastic. Check it out. So excited about it. it. It just adds more to the game. Sprucing it up. Just, just really super cool. Super, super cool. You know, I'm, I'm so excited about all these mods that, that have come out. They're just fantastic. But, uh. I'm just loving it. Loving it, loving it. I really love the swings. I think that's fantastic. It'd be cute to have a little seesaw here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it uh, it's a great mod. I really like the, the tombstones and stuff. Um, that you can interact with them and actually put you know, like, especially if you're in a group, like I'm not, I, I play alone, but if you're in a group, you can joke around with each other and come out and put their name on it whenever they die in the game. <laughs> uh, uh, but this was really nice that it had a, a thing, and that the, I know it's, it's a chest, but um, I just wanted it to be used as, like, an altar to the altar, you know, thought that was really cool, and the buckets, the buckets are awesome, these are fantastic, I truly wish the game had a way, and they, they can't say it can't be done, because there's buckets, um, a way to, to carry water, to actually use a bucket, like fill it up, and it goes in your inventory, and then when you want to use it, you can go in your inventory and get it, kind of like Minecraft does, um, and be able to fill up a tub or make a hot tub, a hot spring, you know, set it on top of a fire or something. And uh, anyways, this is a super fantastic mod. This brings so much life to my kitchen. I can't wait to put it in my other world. Uh, well, it's this exact same world, but it's different. If you watch my last video... Um, You'll see the before and after um, when I used a texture mod that's coming out soon. And uh, I'm going to put all this stuff in that kitchen. I'm, I'm super excited. Super excited. I just wanted to try it out here first so I could get a taste for what 
all of the mod entails and what there is to offer in it and how I can set it up and get myself ideas before I put it in my actual other house, which is this house. It's, it's this exact same world. This is just a different save of that world. This is an unmodded version. Like in, if you look in the video, all this is done. The whole house is done. Different. All these torches are gone and it's nice candle lights. It's not bright like this. It's nice and dark. Not dark, but dim. And this mod is so perfect for it. Perfect, especially these pots and uh, pots and pans. Oh my gosh. And the rolling pin for the pies. Just a fantastic touch. Fantastic. The whole mod is just, like, perfect. And the fact that you can interact with things and stack them and stuff like that, that is so awesome. It really is. Because not a lot of mods you can interact with. You can't fill the buckets like this with straw and wine and stuff like that. It would be really cool if the picnic basket lid could open... And you could put, like, bread in it to stick out, you know, have bread sticking out of it or something like that. Um, but I love it the way it is. It doesn't, I'm not downing it at all. But that would be really cool. But just having this being able to stack is just fantastic. I'm just loving it. All right, guys. Well, this is the mod in a nutshell. And I will... Leave a link down in the description if you need to know how to install these mods. Please see my installation videos. I do walk through step by step to show you how to do them. Once you've done one or two mods, it becomes old hat and it's real easy. It takes two minutes to download, install, and, and do it. And the little bathtub and nightstand in this. Um, I'm not nightstand, I'm sorry. The, um, another world save. We gotta put an end to those. Um, the little bathtub and then the fancy chest. That's the word I was looking for, the fancy chest. And the, the books for the end table and a diary. That's just so cool. So cool. And the knickknacks. My goodness. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, get out to Thunderstore and download it, have fun with it, play around with it, decorate with it, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.